Well, Pakistan's unrelenting attack on our borders continued. Fresh ceasefire violation has taken place this morning. There was unprovoked firing by the Pakistan army at the Bimbeer Gali sector in Pooch in Jammu along the line of control. The firing between both sides continued since 8.30 this morning. Mortars and automatic weapons were used by Pakistan to target Indian positions. No casualties have been reported so far. Editor Strategic Affairs Gaurav Savant as well as Ashwini joins me in the phone line. Gaurav, this is an Eid betrayal by Pakistan ever since midnight. This takes the ceasefire violations to 12 within a month. It indeed, indeed does. Uh, in Bimbar Gali, the shelling started at 8.30 this morning. Uh, it initially began uh, with machine gun fire and then escalated to mortars. Um, uh, and if you look, there's a pattern to this. Uh, in uh, in Tangdhar in North Kashmir, uh, three terrorists were killed trying to infiltrate. Mm. Uh, there's also shelling that's happening at Arnia, which is the international border. This is a desperate attempt by Pakistan to show that this entire 770 kilometer long uh, uh, in line of control and 200 kilometer long border is not peaceful. There have been two major events, uh, Vedika. One, there's been an increase in infiltration attempts from Pakistan, especially north of Pir Panjal, which just shows that before winter set in, they're trying to push in as many people as they can. South of Pir Panjal, they're targeting civilian areas. There were also two incidents of sniping, uh, which India retaliated to and responded to in kind. So uh, this is this is a cause for major concern. And as the Home Minister said, uh, perhaps this will have to be effectively dealt with uh, because uh, both in, uh, along the international border and the LC, Pakistan's activities are only increasing, perhaps trying to shift focus from internal turmoil in their country, Vedika. Right, Gaurav, thanks for joining us this morning. Ashwini also on the phone line from Jammu with us. Ashwini, many terming this as a diversionary tactic by Pakistan in an attempt to buffer infiltration attempts into and through the border. Ashwini, are you there with me? Or we seem to have lost the line with Ashwini there, but that is the 12 ceasefire violation that we're talking about. The firing between the two sides continues since 8.30 this morning. Defence expert General P.K. Hoon also joining me on the phone line. General Hoon, thank you so much for speaking with headlines today. We're talking about uh, some breaking news that's just coming in. It's the 12th ceasefire violation by Pakistan within a month. Do you see this as a diversionary tactic? General Hoon, can you hear me? Hello. So Hello. my question is, do you see this as a diversionary tactic by Pakistan to help buffer infiltration through and across the border? Uh, listen, this, this is not a diversionary attack. This is definitely something that they are playing with. You know that now uh, the, the Africa and all are getting in with the ISI. Now, if that is the issue. And General Hoon is back on the line with us, I believe. General Hoon, you were making a point of how this is not a diversionary tactic by Pakistan. Can you go ahead and substantiate what you're trying to say? No, it's not a question of a diversionary attack. I think the time has come where I, uh, the, the, I, I won't be able to tell you as to what we will do. But we have to take some very severe measures because previously, right for the last four years, five years, six years, you've seen what has happened. They are crossing, they are breaking the uh, rules, they are killing. I think the time has come when we have to be offensive and I have no doubt that uh, we will be uh, offensive and that's the only way to sort them out. Imagine that they are firing even uh, in uh, Arnia, the, that, 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 that's a place on the international border. Yes. And if Pakistan really wants to uh, the, 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 the come and uh, be at a war, so be it. I think that uh, we cannot uh, sit for very long and I have no doubt that steps are being taken, will be taken and we'll give them a big hit. But where? Just leave it to the planners. All right, General Hoon, thank you so much for joining us on that story. Well, uh, General Hoon there demanding a tough stand by India as far as these ceasefire violations are concerned.